crash here. Check this crash here. What the fuck's... Bam! Was that Rowan? Look at the... Watch this. Replay, replay. What the fuck happened? That was nasty. Who is that? That looked like Rowan. Fuck, that bike is fucked. Here we have Velo Vegan. We've got some footage from Velo Vegan. Gruff is down from Wales and Adelaide. This is his power data. I'm in the ride, but this is his data. I stole. If you want to see me put up my power data like this, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't want to see it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, give us what you want to know. So we're cruising up Norton Summit. This is a Saturday morning Super Elliot bunch. So you can see then the left-hand screen number there, 360, 310. This is the watts. And over 300, pushing, pushing it, pushing it, 300. And in the mid 300s, and see the cadence there, 90. So ideally when you're climbing, you want to have your cadence between 90 and 100. The hour record. Uh, Wiggins, Dowsett, Romega, everyone, uh, Rowan Dennis, everyone, I'm forgetting, 105 cadence in recent years, fast, hour records, 105 cadence, so you're going to be about 90 to 100, but you could probably say 90 to 110 really, optimum cadence, the sprinters, 130 cadence, the 2000 watt sprinters, 160 cadence, Just excuse me while I have a bit of a bevy. And uh, so we're going up the first bit of Norton Summit. Pretty even pace. These guys have actually got a bit of a head start in the group. And because uh, the group was pretty hectic that morning. We've got Ant on the front. I can see Callum with the green. So oh, look, look at that. What, did, what, what was that? That was a sneaky little maneuver, wasn't it? That was like loosening up the brakes, mate. Callum's ready for some 1,000 watt kick at the end. And uh, he's having a, having a crack. Freely's trying to steal my drink. It's a little bit. A bit of soft drink there. So we're going up Norton Summit. And uh, Anton's on the front. Callum's cadence is pretty good. Don't steal all that sugar, yeah, sweetie. Know, You'll be paying for it later, otherwise. Right, and uh, cruising on the Nortons. Cruising on the Nortons. The big bunch is coming fast soon. Now I'm not. I'm in the bunch behind these guys. Actually, I'm two bunches down because the bunch was so big that morning it split up. So these guys set off early because I saw the carnage that was coming up the hill, and then I'm in this third group behind. The group was so big it broke up, and I let the let the gap open up too much. So, when you're going up a hill, and your goal is to go up there fast, make sure you got to stick on the faster rider's wheel. And if a gap opens, you got to close it straight away. Otherwise, if you let the gap open, uh, especially a fast climb like this, you're going to be struggling. The guy on the right on the left here, the black and the S works. Look at that very grinding slow cadence. Here we go. This is, oh wow, this is a great example here. So on the left, we've got an inefficient cadence. Still putting out the same watts. But your legs just blow. I mean, I couldn't push that gear. I'd, just, I'd get dropped real quick. Here we go on the right. Look at those cadence guys. Tattoo leg, blue bike, orange socks, cadence, Colnago, Roland. Look at that cadence. So the guys on the right, that just that's, a, that's the arrowhead of the peloton coming along. Those four top riders are very fast at the moment. Low 13s up Norton's. Low 13s every week. All right. So this is where I've let the brake go. I'm... I'm probably a couple hundred meters back, looking in the horizon, going, oh shit, there's a gap, big gap there. No one's closing it, I've got to close it. So I'm chasing at the moment to get back on. And uh, this is obviously not me in the camera, this is Gruff's bike, if, in case you hadn't heard that at the start of the video, from Wales. A lot of these guys from Adelaide loving it. Even I think Garen, same Garen Thomas has signed a three-month lease on, a, on an apartment in Adelaide. He liked it so much, I don't know. Let me know down below if that's true or false. Sip my baby. So look at the cadence there. It's just real cool. Cash. What's that heart rate? 193. Must, Griff must have been on some pingers that morning. It was just full nanny bra. So uh, heart rate varies a lot. Power is absolute. See, now now the power. Look at those power numbers. I saw some 400s. Yeah, 400. 430. Now we're putting some fucking... Now we're burning some glycogen. This is glycogen city right now. And I'm just getting contact now. I'm, I had to sit on... A fair bit of wattage to uh, get across four or five hundred. Actually, probably more. If, I, if these guys are doing that, I would have had to do more to catch a bridge of the gap. So it's a mathematical equation. So you can see the rider here, uh, the muscular legs. He's going to get popped soon because the amount of pain in his legs right now, pushing that gear, this is going to be too hard to push. You're going to get you're going to get popped off the back, like a bit of popcorn, popped off the cob. Because if you once an acceleration goes, you've got to have the cadence to to, to snack onto that. So you can see how fast we're going. All these guys really... Here we go. Here's the... His, his celery man, banana boy on the right. So look at my cadence. Oh, I can't even feel my legs. I'm just breathing. And then... Uh, so there you go. That's me in the yellow socks. Don't make jokes about my sock height. 
I might, I might, I might get, I might have to fucking leave the internet. <laughs> so that's me on the TCR. I'm just fucking gas because I know I've got to get on these guys and I'm gonna try and. So look, I'm just, I'm just holding cadence, spinning. Set your heights probably a bit low, but works for now. Wigan style. And Gruff is about to pop off. He's struggling there. The watts are going up. So it's 500 watts. We're doing 500 now. 380. So that's good. There's Cashy on the propel. Didn't recognise him. He's lost so much weight. This guy here, the white socks tattooed in the left-hand calf. He's lost so much weight. Didn't recognise him till the top of the hill. He was doing it easy that morning. So well, the front group here, we did uh, 13 to 1327 were the times. And uh, Griff is about to pop off the cob. Look at that wattage, right? We've got 350, 350, 400, 320. And now he's, now he's just giving it mentally. He's like, ah, fuck it. Fuck it. 200. All right? One, 130, 110. So that's, that's the mental guy. Fuck it. And Adam comes... Adam comes past. That's that's just purely mental. There, that's not physiological. There's no way you can go from 400 watts to 120. That's a full mental decision. So I had some stern words with a young chap at the top of the climb after that. And now it's back up. Now it's back to 300. So all that happened then, it's like, oh fuck it, oh fuck it, I'll keep chasing again, pick it up again. So what you want to do? Remember, when you're climbing a hill, your mind is going to play tricks on you, and it's going to say, oh fuck it. And then 10 minutes later, 10 seconds later, oh, let's do it again. So Callum's done the same, uh, fuck it. He's fucked it as well. But all you have to do is just hold on. Basically, climbing's like holding a match to your... F there we go. And look, watch the wattage. Here we go. Now we're back in action again. So the your legs are like your dick. If you don't stimulate your legs, if you don't stimulate your dong, it ain't going to be strong. So if you want strong legs or a strong dong, you've got to be strong in your head and stimulate that. Stimulate those legs to keep pushing. Now we're back to 400. So it went from 350 to 110, 120 watts, back up to 300. Some chips. No, I've got some chips. For Give me some chips here. Keep the carb up so I can keep my video going. So that's, that's, all, that's all you need to do is just remember that mentally, I would say the biggest tip I learned from riding with a lot of pro riders, hundreds, I've had hundreds of pro riders in the last few years, and the biggest tip they can give me is just to focus, is to meditate on the climb. Meditation is focus with absence of thought. So don't focus on the pain or the training you have or haven't done. or Just relax, focus. Focus with an absence of thought. Don't worry about the pain or the time or even the wattage sometimes. Just hold that wheel in front of you and just fucking hold it. All right? If it's a realistic goal, just fucking hold the watts. And uh, if the more you can not think, the better you can breathe. The better you can breathe and have deep, strong, slow breathing, the more oxygen, the more to you, you will get to your red blood cells, and that red blood cells, all your energy systems, etc. Basically, oxygen is power. Oxygen is wattage. If you take a liter of blood out of your body, you're fucked. All right? If you give blood before you go into a bike ride, you get dropped straight away because you don't have enough oxygen to burn fat, etc. in your body. So by relaxing and having focus with absence of thought, we can just control our breathing and just chill and relax and just suck in that oxygen, and oxygen is power. So just remember that whenever you're getting stressed or tense on the climb, the, the, if you can just chill, that's why some guys take Valium on, in bike races, man, just so I can chill out and you can breathe better. I don't recommend doing that. You don't need to. You don't need to take Valium. Just relax, learn, relax. That's why I like these bunch rides is I get to just relax myself and I get to walk my talk. Now, sometimes it doesn't always work, but... Every time, every Tuesday morning or Saturday or Thursday evening when we do these time trials, I definitely, yeah, it's a great meditation. So there you go. If you want to climb better, just learn how to relax your breathing and then you relax your mind. And when you've got a relaxed mind, you have a relaxed breath. And with relaxed breathing, strong, deep breathing, you'll get more oxygen in. It's just like when you're on EPO. I mean, I've never done EPO before, but I've got friends who have, and they all say, man, it's just like, just breathing, mate. Breathing fucking. It's like you've got a third mouth in your fucking throat you're just taking so much oxygen stay calm so stay calm on the climb relax breathe and we'll see you at the top any questions let us know down below